Hey everyone, Nick your host here, and thank you for tuning in to this special episode of a Nintendo Direct. It is Splatoon 2, and yeah, this isn't a old Direct, it actually came out uh, just yesterday, and uh, I didn't get a chance to really watch the video that Nintendo put out and talk about it, so hopefully I'm not too late to... The news, I guess, but yeah, they put out a like 20 some odd minute direct and they talked about more features with Splatoon 2. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, real quick, it comes out July 21st. So if you're in the future right now listening to this, uh, today's July 7th of 2017. So yeah, you may be listening to this when the game's already out, so, so, well, my bad, and you already know all this information then, I suppose, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, without further ado, let's jump right in. So, uh, the Splatoon 2, uh, Nintendo Direct, they talked about a lot of, uh, information but I figured I'd talk about some uh, some things, so uh, here we go. Um, the Direct talked about the basics of the game, like it went over it again. Uh, they, to- they showed how each inkling can be an indiv- individual, from changing your skin tone color to your eye color, and then customizing your hair, and then your gear, which is the clothes you buy from the various shops around town. Uh, I believe the place is called Galleria, and uh, there's a headgear shop called Headspace, and obviously they have different hats, and each hat has different abilities, like bomb defense up, swim speed up, quick respawn, and much more. And they each cost a various amount of uh, Splatoon dollars or coins or I forget their currency but they each cost very different uh, currency like ones obviously more than the other uh, so the clothing shop the gear is called the ye old uh, cloth cloth shop and uh, it's a clothing shop uh, they didn't show us too much but they showed a black shirt with the ability cold blooded so, they didn't really go over what it was, but it's interesting that now we have uh, hats and shirts and shoes that can be different abilities. Um, well, speaking about shoes, the shoe shop is actually called Shella Fresh. And the images that I saw, uh, some shoes had like ink resistance up, quick super jump object shredder which I'll talk about later the uh, and much more so that's pretty cool that they're all various different ones and uh, the weapon shop that actually showed it it's called ammo knights and it showed us the splatter shot the splat roller and much more so some new weapons uh, that you could actually buy in game that's where you would buy it at is the ammo knights and so, uh, they showed that the weapons come in sets of three. You get a main weapon, a side weapon, and a special weapon. The side is also called a sub weapon as well. And uh, it shows various shooters like the roller, which is which if you play Splatoon 1, you know what the roller is. It's a paint roller. Uh, the charger, which is basically like a sniper rifle. The splat lane cannons. Uh, it's like a submachine gun. The slosher is a can of paint and you just keep on throwing paint. And the blasters, uh, you shoot out a ball of ink that explodes on impact or in midair. So if someone's jumping, you can shoot it and get them. Uh, the weapon called the chargers, you can actually now hold your charge when you move around the field, unlike Splatoon 1. And the rollers, you can swing vertically and horizontally now. Also, unlike Splatoon 1, so that's pretty cool. And the dualies, which is two guns, 
Uh, you can dodge roll while using them. Uh, the Clash Blaster is a new gun. It's short range and high fire rate. And high fire rate. Uh, the Flingza Roller. It's like the roller, but it's upgraded. You can fling paint much further. The Goo Tuber. It's like the sniper rifle, but if you hold the charge down longer, uh, you can get some pretty shot, pretty serious shots with that. Uh, the Dapple Dooleys. It's just like the Dooleys before, but they're a whole lot faster and deal more damage than regular Dooleys. So those are kind of like the more advanced weapons of the basic weapons that there is to offer. So I would recommend at least getting the advanced weapons because they seem like they can pack a lot more punch to splat your enemies. So the sub weapons or the side weapons, uh, one of them is the auto bomb. It's like a it looks like kind of like a boat with feet and just hunts down the enemies and when it gets close it explodes and splats them so that's kind of neat. Uh, there's a thing called the toxic mist and you can throw it at your enemy and it basically surrounds them with harmful gas which is the paint and uh, you can splat them much easier that way. Uh, the direct didn't really showcase any more sub weapons unfortunately but there's probably going to be a lot more obviously. Um, the specials uh, whenever you basically get splatted, you'll say, oh, you're splatted by so-and-so, and then you can actually see what specials they have, and what gear, and all sorts of, uh, information like that. So, one of the specials, you could actually, um, on the top, you see eight characters, you and three of your allies, and the other four enemies. And now with the specials, you can actually see who has a special. And so if you want to go find that person and splat them, you can do that now. So that's pretty cool. Um, some of the specials are the Tenta Missiles. They, it's like a barrage of uh, guns, bullets, and they basically lock onto the enemy. <laughs> so you can like splat the entire team. Um, the Ink Jet. Let's you fly, it's kind of like hovering and you're squirting paint down and you're like hovering a couple feet in the air and you can also shoot too while you're using the ink jet. So that's pretty pretty cool. Uh, the Stingray, it's the sniper rifle and it has a high pressure ink and you can shoot through walls and splat the opponents that way. Which is pretty awesome so they don't even know where it comes from and you just got some splats. So that's pretty pretty awesome. Uh, splash down, it's kind of like a ground pound, so your uh, character jumps up in the air and just like ground pounds on the ground and uh, splats any nearby enemies, so that's pretty nice. Uh, the ink storm, it makes clouds of ink and it rains, so it's literally clouds of ink, so you know, purple, green, blue, whatever, on the field and it rains your color, so that's pretty nice. Uh, the bomb launcher, you could throw lots of bombs on the field. So, from what they showed, it looked pretty, pretty awesome. Because uh, you were just having all these bombs, grenades, and just lobbing them on the field. And another special is called the Ink Armor. And it increases defense for all of your allies for a short time, so that's pretty cool. So, I'm sure you and your buddies can, uh... You're like, alright, I'll be the defensive if you guys, you know, one guy's using a sniper and another guy's using the tent of missiles, you know, do it that way. I'm sure you guys could uh, get some uh, splats that way. But, um, another one too is, I almost forgot to mention, it's called the baller. And it's basically a big old hamster ball that you run around and just explode. So that's pretty cool. And aside from the regular Turf War mode, there's a few others. Uh, turf mode, as you already know, it's like the classic battle, so like Team Deathmatch, basically. And uh, you can play on various courses such as the Reef, Muscle Forge Fitness, Ink Blot 
Art Academy, Starfish Main Stage, Humpback Pump Track, Sturgeon Shipyard, Port Mackerel, Moray Towers, and much more. Uh, Nintendo said that more uh, stages will be coming in the future, so that's something to look for. So we have a few of them here already, so uh, you won't be bored playing on them. Uh, there's also ranked battles and ranked battles. They do a little bit different. They have three modes that rotate every two hours. And the three modes are tower control, which you basically stand on a tower from point A to point B and you ride it all the way to the other side, your opponent's side. But that's a lot easier said than done because uh, you both want to be on the tower and you both want the tower to be on um, the opposite team so you can win and there's uh, certain checkpoints where the tower stops moving so it'd be easier for your opponents to take it out from under you so have fun with that uh, splat zones that's another one you uh, basically take control of certain areas on the field uh, so there'll be like a small area on the entire map and you just have to take control over it so it's kind of like uh, uh, like like domination or something like that so it's kind of similar to those kind of uh, games game modes and uh, Rainmaker uh, you basically have to carry this big old weapon to the other side and it's a uh, it can fire powerful shots but the other team can easily take it from you so where we get to Rainmaker on the opposite side wins, so that seems that seems pretty fun and pretty hectic too. Uh, also, when you do rank battles, your skill increases. So they use uh, like A, B, C, D, and I think E or F. I don't know, but uh, in the trailer they showed a C minus turn into a B, and uh, that's how Splatoon 2 keeps similar players during ranked game modes together. So that's pretty cool. And for the separate uh, ranks for each mode so you could be really good at tower control and just suck at splat zones so you could be like an A at tower control and like a C on splat zones so that's pretty cool that they match them that way and uh, there's a new uh, mode called League Battles and League Battles allow you to play online with friends and team of two or four and if you and your buddy just the two of you don't have two other people to play with you get paired up with another two people so that's pretty cool or you and three friends can uh, come together and play um, if you do really well in these matches you could actually receive in-game medals to show how well you did so that's pretty cool uh, along with the new merchandise people and vendors there's a guy called merch and he can upgrade your gear your hats clothes shoes weapons uh, and it's the same way that the other hats clothes shoes weapons are except he can upgrade them and you can have various upgrades so that's pretty cool uh, we saw a ability called the respawn punisher and basically what that does is if someone splats you you'll have a longer time to respawn and so will they uh, quick respawn Obviously, you'll respawn faster, and they showed it side by side how much faster it actually is. Uh, there's an ability called the Drop Roller, and it you can tilt the left stick to do jump to move right away from the enemy right before they're about to hit you, which is pretty awesome. Um, thermal Ink, which is pretty awesome. If you shoot some enemies, you can actually see where they are through the... Uh, like boxes and crates and on the field like you can see them like they're outlined so that's pretty cool um, the object shredder which I mentioned earlier uh, it's it actually allows you to do more damage to non-player targets so I'm sure with these sub weapons there'll be a lot of these uh, objects so this may be good to have um, and like I mentioned before too, when you get splatted by the other team, you can actually check out their gear that 
they have and their abilities and their specials. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot of gear that they showed that they didn't even talk about in the direct. If you if you watched it or are planning to watch it, uh, you'll see a whole. It was like I don't know. Um, at least 20 of them that they even talked about, which is pretty crazy. So uh, moving on. Uh, I'm sure you're all familiar with Salmon Run, and I talked about it in the last Splatoon 2 uh, Direct that they had. And uh, Salmon Run is basically a single player mode, and uh, you get special rewards for completing Salmon Run. I mean, I'm sorry, Salmon Run is not the one player mode, it's the four player co op mode. And you get special rewards for completing Salmon Run with your three buddies. And you have to do various tasks. Uh, basically these, uh, I forget what you would call them, but the, basically the enemies, it's kind of like waves of enemies that you play like zombies in Call of Duty, I guess for instance. And uh, you'll fight like a boss battle or something. Like there's various different bosses and uh, enemies of that sort. So, uh, Salmon Run looks kind of promising, actually. Like, it looks pretty fun if you don't want to play online and you want to just play Salmon Run. And the nice thing is, completing Salmon Run, uh, you get rewards that are only Salmon Run exclusive. So, even if you play online all the time, you won't have the exclusive rewards from Salmon Run. So, that's pretty nice. Um, the Splatnet 2 mobile service aka Nintendo Switch online app. Uh, so they basically talked about the Nintendo Switch's online app and that will be coming out in like a week or two I believe for like the test run with Splatoon 2 then I don't think it fully releases until like winter of this year but that the online app is basically uh, for Splatoon 2 your guide to see detailed results of the last 50 battles you can look at the gear you have, the gear of your opponents. Uh, you can look at the various stages and modes, which ones you are on the most, which ones you're the best at. Uh, lifetime inkage, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can see how much turf you've inked compared to real life places. And um, so that'd be something interesting, like the. Uh, I believe in the direct they showed, like the. Gobi Desert, or like the pyramids of Egypt, or something along those lines, and I was like, "Well, geez, that's crazy." <laughs> and also, too, they didn't really mention or talk about it much, but they said that you could send gear from your phone to Splatoon 2. So I wonder if you could buy certain gear, or you could buy all the gear and just send it there. So I don't know. Um, in the customizations options menu you can actually customize a whole lot you can change uh, settings for TV and held handheld handheld mode accordingly so you can have one totally different than the other uh, you can change the sensitivity for that uh, the amiibos 2 you can use any Splatoon amiibo from Splatoon 1 or Splatoon 2 which those are coming out soon and with your amiibos, when you save them, you can scan them, and in-game they can uh, unlock exclusive gear for you in-game. So that's pretty cool. Um, another character that you can talk to, his name is Krusty Sean, and he's a, he's like a shrimp or like a krill, and you can eat the food that he sells, and that will basically give you like double experience so you can earn more points in battle so that's pretty awesome uh, there's this area in the Galleria called the Shoal and you can play locally on a Nintendo Switch and LAN too so I don't know how many players they didn't really say maybe I don't really know they didn't really say but locally I would imagine two on one screen but I don't know, maybe we'll know more as uh, Splatoon 2 arrives. Uh, the single player mode, this is what I was going to mention. Uh, you basically go in the manhole cover 
and follow uh, Marie from Callie and Marie. And I believe she helps you out with a single player mode. And uh, it, in this manhole area, that's where the Octarians live. And the Octarians are kind of not so friendly with the Inklings. And basically this mode is you can complete various challenges, use different weapons and abilities, go on different stages and courses, and unlock new uh, ways to spot enemies. So that's uh, pretty cool. Basically, kind of like challenges in Call of Duty or like uh, training mode or things of that sort. Um, they did announce that there are new updates coming soon and so there's a new weapon like the splat umbrella so it's a splat umbrella and it's like an umbrella so you can block attacks with it and you can also shoot ink so that's pretty cool pretty interesting they showed a bubble wand but they didn't show it like they showed it for like a split second and I was like wait a second what is that and that's what I saw so I am sorry I don't know more information about the mobile wand sort of thing. Um, they said more stages coming soon too. For around one year, new weapons, gear, and updates. In about two years, they'll have various splat fests. Which splat fest? Uh, they're actually having a new one. And if, if you're not familiar with the splat fest, uh, there's two sides, two teams, four on four, and each team has a theme. And this theme upcoming, it's called Ice Cream vs. Cake. And you can actually go on your Nintendo Switch and download the Splatoon 2 uh, Global Test, I believe it's called. Splatoon 2 Splatfest World Premiere, that's what it's called. I got an update on it on my Switch earlier today, and uh, I downloaded it. And I chose, well, I don't know what I chose. I didn't choose anything yet, but I know who I'm, I'm going to choose. And uh, don't forget to download that. That's only a one day only, July 15th, 3 to 7 p.m. Pacific time. So check out the times locally, wherever you may be. And uh, don't forget to download it so you can actually play a week before it comes out. July 15th and before I end this I just want to say that they showed off you remember Keller, Kelly and Marie well they're like retired now and there's two new people called Marina and Pearl uh, and they they're in a band I guess called Off the Hook I don't know they did their whole little uh, dancing party sort of thing with Pearl and Marina and well just interesting that they're the new people <laughs> that's all I have to say um, but yeah don't forget about download downloading the demo right now and Splatoon 2 releases July 21st 2017 and don't forget if you want to play with me on my switch uh, I put up my friend code on our Instagram page you can follow us on Instagram you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter those are our main three uh, ways that you can get a hold of us and play with us. There, we have a group, the group that we we are all in, called Video Games and More, and you can check us out there. And our group right now, we have, I think, like s at least fifteen hundred people. I know that for sure. So one thousand five hundred people. Um, the actual total is 1,580 people as of right now. So, don't forget to check us out there, Video Games and More, uh, or VGM. Uh, we are on Instagram at Video Games More, or Twitter at Video Game and More. So, check us out there. Don't forget Splatoon 2 demo. And I hope you've uh, enjoyed listening to us. And if you're Splatoon, fan or a Splatoon 2 fan, let me know, let me know what you think, and uh, until next time, uh, next Nintendo Direct, I'll see you guys later, and uh, thanks for listening, and happy gaming.